Hey guys, Jim here. Welcome back to our part two of our echocardiography registry review questions. Thanks for joining me today. Let's get started. Question 25. Which of the following calculations is used to confirm the valvular area if disease is suspected in this video clip? Is it A, 4V squared, B, 0.29 times pressure half time in milliseconds, C, 759 divided by deceleration time in milliseconds, or D, pressure half time divided by 220? Let me zoom in here. The answer is C, 759 divided by deceleration time in milliseconds. This would be the correct answer. However, it's backwards. The correct way is 220 divided by pressure half time, not pressure half time divided by 220. Question 26. What does this EKG represent? Is it A, atrial flutter, B, atrial fibrillation, C, ventricular fibrillation, or D, polymorphic ventricular tachycardia? The answer is A, atrial flutter, as indicated by these sawtooth patterns here. Question 26, sorry, question 27. What does this personal long axis view represent? Is it A, vegetation, B, mitral valve prolapse, C, SAM, or D, ruptured chordae tendinae? The answer is C, SAM, or systolic anterior motion of the mitral valve. You can see here during systole, the anterior mitral leaflet is being pushed into the LVOT tract, causing an obstruction. Question 28. What is number three pointing to? Is it A, the left anterior descending artery, B, right coronary artery, C, left circumflex artery, or D, left main coronary artery? The answer is C, left circumflex artery. Question 29, what is the most common associated defect found with the coarctation? Is it A, interrupted aortic arch, B, tetralogy of Fallot, C, bicuspid aortic valve, or D, ventricular septal defect. And sorry guys, you might find some congenital questions on your echo boards. The answer is C, bicuspid aortic valve. Question 30, which of the following calculations will determine the left atrial pressure? Is it A, systolic blood pressure minus mitral regurgitation gradient, B, diastolic blood pressure minus mitral regurgitation gradient, C, diastolic blood pressure plus mitral regurgitation gradient, or is it D, systolic blood pressure divided by mitral regurgitation gradient? The answer is A, systolic blood pressure minus mitral regurgitation gradient. Question 31. Which of the following calculations will determine left ventricular and diastolic pressure? Is it A, diastolic blood pressure minus aortic regurgitation and diastolic gradient? B, diastolic blood pressure plus aortic regurgitation and diastolic gradient? C, systolic blood pressure minus aortic regurgitation and diastolic gradient? Or is it D, systolic blood pressure plus aortic regurgitation and diastolic gradient? The answer is A, diastolic blood pressure minus aortic regurgitation and diastolic gradient. Question 32, which of the following equations determine pulmonary artery and diastolic pressure? Is it A, right atrial pressure minus pulmonary artery and diastolic pressure, B, right atrial pressure plus pulmonary artery and diastolic pressure, C, right atrial pressure minus pulmonary artery and systolic pressure, or is it D, right atrial pressure plus pulmonary artery and systolic pressure?
The answer is B, right atrial pressure plus pulmonary artery and diastolic pressure. Question 33. Severe pulmonic regurgitation is holodiastolic. The answer is false. Holodiastolic refers to aortic regurgitation and retrograde flow in the aorta. Question 34. What is the most common cause of mitral stenosis? Is it A, congenital, B, rheumatic, C, calcifications, or D, left atrial myxomas? The answer is B, rheumatic. Question 35. This longitudinal strain pattern demonstrates, is it A, amyloidosis, B, apical hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, C, concentric left ventricular hypertrophy, or is it D, severely reduced systolic function? The answer is B, apical hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Question 36, what is the hydrostatic pressure at the heart in a standing patient? Is it A, zero, B, between 110 and 120, C, minus 50, or is it D, 100? The answer is A, zero. Question 37, this longitudinal strain pattern demonstrates, is it A, amyloidosis, B, apical hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, C, concentric left ventricular hypertrophy, or is it D, right coronary artery infarction? Sorry, the image isn't as clear as it could be, but a lot of the images on your test will not be very clear. The answer is C, concentric left ventricular hypertrophy. Question 38. In the setting of an acute single vessel occlusion of either the RCA or the circumflex coronary artery, what is the potential hemodynamic complication that can occur resulting in a loud systolic murmur and flash pulmonary edema? Is it A, ruptured chordae of the mitral valve? B, idiopathic hypertrophic subaortic stenosis with SAM? C, muscular VSD? Or is it D, aortic regurgitation? The answer is B, idiopathic hypertrophic subaortic stenosis with SAM. Question 39. 3D echo uses what to construct a 3D image? Is it A, a series of 4D images? B, a series of 1D images? C, a series of 3D images? Or is it D, a series of 2D images? The answer is D, a series of 2D images. Question 40. Quality of 3D reconstruction is dependent on all of the following except, is it A, quality of 2D images, B, number of images, C, adequate EKG, or is it D, ability to use a frequency higher than 10 megahertz? The answer is D, ability to use a frequency higher than 10 megahertz. 3D construction also depends on respiratory gating and the ability to limit artifacts. Question 41. In patients with high resistance patent ductus arteriosus ducts, the flow across the ducts is relatively what? Is it A, small, B, high, C, critical, 
or D, undetectable. The answer is A, small. Question 42. To minimize artifacts, 3D, 4D imaging is best acquired during, is it A, suspended respiration, B, higher frequency, C, higher line density, or is it D, higher output power? The answer is A, suspended respiration. Question 42. I'm just going to zoom in here real fast. What is demonstrated in this video? Is it A, hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy, B, apical hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, C, asymmetric hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, or is it D, apical thrombus? The answer is B, apical hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, as indicated by the ace of spades here in the left ventricle. Question 44. Flattening of the septum in diastole and rounding of the septum during systole refers to what? A, right ventricular pressure overload. B, right ventricular volume overload. C, left ventricular volume overload. Or is it D, left ventricular pressure overload? It's flattening of the septum in diastole and rounding of the septum during systole. The answer is B, right ventricular volume overload. Question 45. Click on the anterior mitral valve leaflet. If you said here, you are correct. Question 46. Which pulmonary vein is used to evaluate mitral regurgitation? Is it A, left upper pulmonary vein, B, right lower pulmonary vein, C, left lower pulmonary vein, or D, right upper pulmonary vein? The answer is D, right upper pulmonary vein. 47. What is the most common cardiac tumors in children and infants? Is it A, rhabdomyosarcoma, B, hemangiosarcoma, C, renal cell carcinoma, or is it D, angiosarcoma? The answer is A, rhabdomyosarcoma. Question 48. A patient receives a baseline echo for congestive heart failure at 10 a.m. When is the physician required to interpret the study? Is it A, by noon on the same day performed? B, end of business day? C, beginning of the next business day? Or D, end of the next business day? The answer is D, end of the next business day. Question 49. This longitudinal strain pattern demonstrates, is it A, amyloidosis, B, apical hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, C, concentric left ventricular hypertrophy, or is it D, left, vent or is it D, left circumflex artery infarction? The answer is D, left circumflex artery infarction. Question 50. Of the choices below, which lists the layers of the pericardial wall from the inside out correctly? Is it A, fibrous pericardium, then the epicardium? B, serous pericardium, then the visceral layer of the serous pericardium? C, 
epicardium, then the parietal pericardium, or is it D, fibrous pericardium, then the parietal pericardium? The answer is C, epicardium, then the parietal pericardium. And then following that is the fibrous pericardium. That completes another 25 questions. I'll hurry and write 25 more questions and then upload that video as soon as I can. I'm Jim with ultrasoundboardreview.com. Thanks for watching.